Thank you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, Corrine. I just want to make sure first that you can hear me okay. Wait, could, I think we need to turn it up, guys. You want to try one more time, Administrator? Yep. Does this sound any better? Much better. Thank you. The floor is yours. All right. Thank you very much. And good morning, everybody. Uh, as you just heard, I did arrive uh, here on the ground very early Saturday morning at the direction of the president. Um, and it gave me the opportunity to spend two full days, uh, one full day with Governor Green and the second full day with my staff, as well as uh, members of the governor's staff to get a true understanding of what the impact is here on the ground. Uh, I met with some of our federal officials that have been deployed, and I also had an opportunity to talk to survivors and hear from them um, really some harrowing stories of survival as they uh, evacuated from the area and sought shelter. Um, while we are here and as we continue to closely monitor the situation on the ground, we are continuing to prioritize the safety and the well-being of the Hawaii residents in coordination with our state officials and all of our federal partners. Uh, as residents continue to mourn the loss of their friends, their loved ones, their neighbors, the loss of their homes and their way of life, we know and have let them know that we are mourning with them. Nothing can prepare you for what I saw during my time here and nothing can prepare them for the emotional toll of the impact that this severe event has taken on them. And as you heard, I have been in continuous communication with the president since these fires started. Uh, I have been giving him updates and his team updates letting him know what the federal family is doing to support everything that Governor Green has asked for. A part of that, at the request of the state of Hawaii, FEMA has activated our Transitional Sheltering Assistance Program, which is now available for eligible residents who were displaced from their home. This is FEMA's hotel program, and this will allow them to move from shelters into pre-identified hotels or motels temporarily as they develop their long-term housing strategies. Uh, this is in coordination with the governor as he has also stood up a program to provide Airbnb rooms or other hotel rooms to support residents. And we will be working in close coordination with each other to make sure that everyone finds a temporary solution as they begin to develop their plans for rebuilding. We're also focused on getting funds into people's hands so we can help with some of their critical urgent needs uh, this is called critical needs assistance and it provides $700 initially to provide food, water, first aid, medical supplies, other just critical needs that they need right now. This is in addition to what they will also uh, be able to be eligible for in cash assistance for the loss of their homes or the loss of their personal property. So I encourage anybody who has not registered for FEMA assistance yet to go to disasterassistance.gov uh, or contact 1-800-321-FEMA um, to get into the system and start this process. We also have over 300 personnel on the ground. Many of those can help you also register as we understand that connectivity is, is still scarce in some areas. The response and recovery efforts, I just wanna note in Hawaii are gonna be a whole of government approach. We rely on the experts of dozens of par our partner agencies to make sure that we have all of the right resources to support the recovery needs for this area and to make sure that we are successful in providing relief to survivors. We also want to make sure that we are getting all of the appropriate information out to survivors. So we are working with our state and local partners to ensure that our outreach and our messaging is also culturally responsive and that we can get messages out to people so they know what is available for them. We have been on the ground since day one. Uh, we have an office here on Oahu that is staffed with personnel and integration members that work side by side with the state of Hawaii each and every day. So we were able to quickly integrate in with the governor's team as these fires started to arise. Our regional administrator was also on the ground already for a pre-existing meeting. And so he was able to connect with the governor as these fires were starting to make sure we were moving the right resources. And our federal partners, as you heard, the Coast Guard and the Department of Defense were providing life-saving rescues as this fire was evolving. The coming days and the weeks, they're going to be tough. They're going to be difficult as people process what they have lost and what the road ahead looks like. But we are going to be with the people of Hawaii as I have committed to the governor every step of the way. 
We are already seeing a tremendous amount of efforts and resiliency across the community as they are coming together to support each other as they work through what this is going to look like um, in the future. And together with our voluntary agencies and our federal partners, we will be in Hawaii every step of the way to help residents take control of their recovery and help them rebuild in a way that is going to make them more resilient. And with that, I'll turn it over to you for any questions. Okay, thank you.